Kathy McCulloch, who's going to be reading from her book, Don't Expect Magic. So let's give a round of applause for Kathy. Hello. So quickly, a funny story. Um, on Friday, I, was, I, I looked into my bedroom to see if my window was closed because of the rain, if you were here. And um, as I was turning to exit, I smashed my face into the door jam. And uh, I thought, wow, wouldn't that be fun to show up at uh, West Hollywood Book Fair my first time in public with a broken nose and two black eyes. So there was much ice and wine and uh, happy ending. It's a little swollen, but you can see. So she has moved from New Jersey to Southern California after her mother passes away to live with her father. She's estranged from. Uh, she hasn't seen him for several years, and she calls him Hank, not Dad. And when she arrives, she finds out why she's estranged from him. It's because, or why he has kept his distance. It's because he is a very... What are we looking for, I ask? Someone with a wish. Hank searches the crowd as we walk. A small one. We're at a mall, but like everything else out here in the land of flawless beauty, it's an alien landscape. It's all outdoors, for one thing, with the shops set along a curvy path. The stores are two stories high, but there's nothing upstairs, just fake European balconies strung with twinkling lights. I'll give you a wish. Turn my boots into glass slippers. It doesn't work that way, Delaney. It can't be a random demand. It has to be a genuine internal desire. We wind around outdoor vendors, selling jewelry made from crystals, lotion scented with jasmine, and flip-flops in every color. At least I have some connection to reality. Give me my iPod from the house, I say. I told you, it's a genuine wish. I just wished it, I swear. Hank ignores me and studies a little boy standing a few feet away, holding a cup of vanilla chocolate swirl ice cream and pouting. Aha, Hank murmurs. He pulls out his pen. They were out of plain vanilla, sweetie, the boy's mother says. Just eat around the chocolate. But I don't want to. The boy's voice is choked with despair at the grand unfairness of life. Welcome to the club, kid. Then, suddenly, the boy's misery vanishes, replaced by elation. Mommy, he holds up the cup, and I can see that the fudge ribbons are gone. It's all vanilla. Hank turns to me, half smug, half expectant. Is he kidding? You're telling me you did that? I don't believe it. The ice cream scoop shifted to hide the chocolate, that's all. I watch, the, I watch the boy as he follows his mother around to the other side of the fountain and wait for him to discover the awful truth. But the little vanilla lover keeps happily eating, as if the chocolate really did disappear. If. There can't be any if, because if suggests it's possible. To be magically continued, visit me at kathyhillabooks.com, follow me on Twitter at characters in the story will be deciding what they're up against. I mean, do you think of the kind of moral implications of that when you're writing for this age group? I don't, well, I mean, I'm aware of it, but I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to teach anyone anything, but, but I, but I like the idea of kind of giving kids alternatives, you know, that the world is, there's many things in the world, and there's, I don't know, you know, well, I'm constantly reading, so I feel I'm constantly reading. Things, but, um, and I wouldn't say it's necessarily You know, I, I mean, I I grew up, I do like books about kids, like City Boy by Herman Wolf. I mean, that's, you know, which is like a classic. I mean, that, it's for adults, you know. I always like Dream Cody, so it's not necessarily in adult books, but there's a... There's some humor writers that I...